What the fudge? Good morning, guys. So I am not even gonna lie to you. It's just like this morning, I just definitely had a total like freak out moment. And again, not so much worry for my mom, although I'm sure that's underlying all of this, but just there's too much to do. And I just like don't have time to do it all at all, like at all. And it's driving me crazy. What I really need in my life right now is like a Mary Poppins. That's what I need. <laughs> like just. Ugh. All right, but moving on. I've got I washed my hair last night, so I've straight ironed half of it, and the rest of it is that. And so this got that's gotta get fixed. I've gotta leave really soon. Lindsay should be here any minute. She's gonna watch the kids. Um, I have to leave to go to uh, my mom's appointment. So hopefully I'll have time to finish this part of the hair because I also haven't shaved my legs, y'all. I know my male audience is probably like, ugh, but <laughs> happens. I'm not happy about it right now. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> the fact that I just had that discussion, it should show you that my mind is not in the right spot. Ugh. Okay, so if anybody knows Mary Poppins in real life, just tell me so I can get her over here. And, sh and she can't be expensive, y'all. It'd be great if, it'd be, it'd be better for everyone if I could pay her in like crumpets or something. Because <laughs> then it would be great. That'd be perfect. So if you all know anyone like that, let me know. All right, she's filling out more paperwork. Guys, I'm in line to pick up Sophia, and there's a storm moving in. And th this tree right here keeps dropping branches. Like they have flown and hit the car in front of me. And oh, there goes some. There, like you can see them. So this is leaves, but they were dropping like branches, like clunking on my car. A big one hit their car, and they like got out and moved it off. I must have some loose branches on this tree, so I'm not pleased. If you guys hear some clunking while I talk, that's why. So today my mom had her... What the fudge? Did you guys hear that? Like tapping? Is something stuck on the car just to creep me out? It's like a squirrels on the top of my car being like, let me in! Like I swear. It's creepy. I don't like it. My mom today had her biopsy, ultrasound biopsy. Honestly, how am I supposed to do this with that happening? <laughs> my automatic windshield, my windshield wipers, they automatically like activate whenever it's raining. And so they just like went off and scared me. All right, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Uh, my mom had her ultrasound biopsy today. There, I got it out. So, they go with the ultrasound to figure out what they're gonna do. They had to biopsy some of her lymph nodes, like several of them, and then like obviously the mass in her breast is a big one, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's just its size. It's like 10 millimeters, centimeters, however they measure that. Right now, her doctor, her the breast surgeon oncologist lady, speculating that my mom is maybe a stage two B cancer. There goes a big huge limb. This, maybe I'm like my mood is like making the storm. <laughs> so that's what her speculation is, but we don't know for sure until we get the biopsy back. We don't know what kind of cancer it is yet. So that's what this biopsy is for, and we're gonna find out in a week. And when we find out what it is, then we'll know how to treat it. Along those lines, my grandma and my mom have breast cancer. So, my mom is going to get the genetic marker screening test for breast cancer done. 
I think it's called like the brachiogene test or I don't remember. It's weather y'all. I You probably can't hear it on the camera. So when I look and you're like, what is she doing? I promise you it's because there is some weird thunder, some tapping on my car, some creepiness happening. So my mom's gonna get that test done. If it comes back positive, Kristen and I have to get that, or have to, you know, Kristen and I are getting the test done. And even if we have a negative marker, we definitely have a risk of breast cancer. So um, at 35, they recommend that we just start getting tested mammograms all the time. But if, 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 if we have this genetic marker for this breast cancer, then we have to make the choice. We either get mammograms like every year or something like that. Um, starting like now, like young. Um, but we also have the option of preemptively getting double mastectomies just to try to just chop it off the ladies. I just, you know, you, you, uh, and I'm getting ahead of myself though, so we don't even know that. But all of that has got to happen in addition to everything else. So I am so, I told my mom, I said every step that we take, even if the step is awful, like getting a biopsy is not fun. But she really, oh my gosh, y'all, you know, I've been worried about her mood and everything and her outlook. And she has been a trooper today. I'm so proud of her, y'all. I mean, she's scared, she's worried, it hurts, and so she's uncomfortable. But she's really just seems to be in a better place. And, and that really makes my heart feel better for her and for the whole situation. So that's good. Yeah, I just told my mom, every place, like, okay, right now our end goal <laughs> is to be in the healing and recovery phase of all of this. So every step we take is getting us towards that goal. And today was another step and it's done. Now that's done. Now we move on to the next steps and all those steps make us get closer to the goal. And I, I, that's, yes. So now we just have to wait for the results. Like, you know, I mean, it's not like the results, like we know she has this, so the results are just gonna say what kind it is. So this isn't even really scary. This is more like, we want the results, not because we're scared of them. Like we kind of already got the bad news. The results are because now we'll be like, yes, because breast cancer is 20 years ago. They said they treated them all the same. Now they treat them different depending on what kind you have. So we just need to figure out what it is. And that's the best treatment method possible is what we'll discuss with her oncologist and the surgeon. So, all right, so that's what's been happening today. <laughs>